Okay, welcome to the Meredith Show. Heather Emmer is back on the broadcast, and it is East meets West, because I'm coming to you live from LA. Heather is in sunny South Carolina, where so many of my beloved clients and friends are enjoying their summer. Are you enjoying your summer, Heather? Absolutely. Absolutely. Every time I turn around, there's something new and exciting happening here at Harbor Chase. Now, Unbelievable. Yes, we always want to make sure that we're not assuming everybody knows about Harbor Chase of Columbia. So at the beginning of every broadcast for my guests on the Meredith Show, I'd like to reintroduce Heather Emmer as if you're meeting her perhaps for the very first time. <laughs> and she's a resident senior care expert at Harbor Chase of Columbia, mm -hmm. where they have sensational events for all the seniors who live in their assisted living community. Right, Heather? Yes, Meredith. It, every time you turn around, families are saying, what are y'all getting into now? Oh, my gosh. And can we be a part of it? Of yes, course I you actually, can. <laughs> <laughs> I was just telling Heather right before we went live that every time she sends me an update on what we're going to be discussing, because we kind of pre-plan these segments a little bit, I am just blown away at the creativity of the staff and the genius behind the planning. So without further ado, Harbor Chase of Columbia is located in South Carolina, just off of I-26 on a lovely little lake, which is so special. There's yeah few communities that have that luxury so I mean such a nice park if you will but I think the best part of Harbor Chase of Columbia are well it's two things the staff and the events so you have a poetry focused event I can't wait for you to share about it coming up and as always the public and those who are interested in learning more about senior care and certainly residents friends and families are invited so tell us what's coming up <laughs> okay guys so We've done everything from the 80s, from doo-wop to hip-hop to, uh, <laughs> to classic country to now we're embracing poetry. Love it. Poetry is just equally as important. And so this coming family night, August the 17th, uh, it's a Thursday, August the 17th, we are going to host a wonderful poetry night around a coffee house theme. Where else is it better to read poetry, um, emotion, spirit from the heart, and share that with all of our families and our friends? Oh, We're well, doing it here. I love that. And, and one thing that I think makes this particularly special is sometimes as we age, it, expressing ourselves isn't as easy as it used to be, but you have a solution for that. Tell us how the process works for presenting. Okay, so our life enrichment team um, we actually have some really dedicated folks um, that are in this community to be able to speak and routinely go over on a weekly basis, week after week, and sit down with our residents and to really listen to the words that are coming to mind, but may have a little bit of mix up here and there. And we're able to sit down, put that together on paper, and it is beautiful narrative to be able to just to have that literature written down from the hearts of our residents and, and, and those who have trouble at saying and speaking that on a day-to-day on a -day basis. But it comes out, it comes out so fluid in their writing. Uh, and it warms my heart to think about how it must feel for family and mm. loved ones to come out and hear the words of somebody they care deeply about, but who might not be able to say them as yeah. frequently as they may like. They're coming yeah. to light. So yeah. walk us through what it'll be like when you arrive. And again, the public is invited and encouraged to contact Heather at Harbor Chase of Columbia. As always, we have a special Meredith Show phone number that we're gonna post at the bottom of this broadcast. So, <laughs> hey Heather, somebody comes in, they haven't seen their loved one in a while, what's gonna happen when they arrive? So we asked for everybody to come, come join us at five o'clock on that Thursday evening. Um, and we'll, we'll embrace and have dinner, break bread. We don't do anything without food first. I love that. <laughs> and we're going to have not just coffee, it's dinner and then yes. then coffee and poetry. Uh, uh, so it's, so dinner's at five. We'll have a, a really nice um, original meal themed also. It would get really creative in our hospitality department when it comes to that too. <laughs> and then about six o'clock, we're gonna segue over and have more of a stage, a stage setup. 
where each resident will have that chance to come up to read their writing and and the, the emotions will be they'll be they'll be present mm. families get so touched by this time it's, it's a great opportunity to, to just see them you know to see that light shining so it's so special we welcome everybody to come and join us okay so again if you'd like to come out special Meredith show phone number we're going to put it embedded into the broadcast so just scroll down and read it in the notes there so you can dial and reach ask for Heather please and she will set you up as always and if for any reason you can't join for the event that's okay she'll still have coffee or maybe even lunch or dinner if she's available and you're available <laughs> because more than anything the mission is big at harbor chase of columbia you really want to educate people about when it is time to have that talk how to make the transition it's a full huge discussion that that you work and and really continuously help families through right heather Absolutely. It's, it's from that moment that you first give me a call and I first learned your name, your loved one's name, all the way to the very end. And mm. so many steps that are compiled in that process that we in our community are able to be there for you, to talk about it, to get your frustrations out. That's what yeah, we're here yeah. for. It is, it can be very challenging once you recognize that a loved one may need more care than perhaps your your schedule permits or their safety is paramount and you recognize they need they need 24 7 care which happens mm -hmm. to many people it's, it's inevitable as we age we need a little more help as we do and so that's the beautiful thing about the staff and and the programs that are sensational at Harbor Chase of Columbia so without further ado we won't drag it out we will tease ahead however because on our next broadcast when you catch Heather and I together we have a complete once in a lifetime treat to share. So do you want to tease ahead, Heather? Please do. So a little tease for our next upcoming segment. We're going to focus on the galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. Because South Carolina is prime viewing for, drum roll please, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Total eclipse. Yes. Total eclipse. So it's going to be a phenomenal event. Our residents are taking part in that. And I'm going to share some of those details as to how we're going to have fun and how we're going to embrace and just and, and join the greater community in this once in a lifetime event. Yes, yeah, South Carolina has been, uh, they have said, is the place to view the eclipse. This once in a lifetime thing for all of us. And <laughs> so we will share a little bit more about that in our next debut for Heather on the Meredith show and we look forward to having you back with us and we thank you so much for watching and remember if you have a friend or a loved one who's in need of senior care assistance or a little bit of advice Heather is there for you please kindly give her a call at the number at the bottom of this broadcast and make sure you mention the Meredith show and we thank you so much for tuning in and being a fabulous viewer and wish you all a great day and remember you or somebody you know must be doing something amazing right now. Please don't keep it to yourself. Take a little bit of time and share the love. Thanks, Heather, for being on the program. Thank you, Meredith.